Okay, here we're going to look at the history of the federal funds rate and how it's been used throughout history to help with recessions, inflation, unemployment, and more. As we've gone over in previous videos, the Fed raises rates to keep mainly inflation and prices in check. The Fed lowers rates to increase spending, stimulate the economy, fight unemployment, and bring the economy out of recessions. Let's get in and take a look. In 1957, there were many businesses that went under and caused a recession panic, which led to the Fed lowering rates. The Fed rate rose with inflation, but caused a recession in 1960 and was lowered again, which stimulated a long growth period. In 1966, there was a mild slowdown, and the Fed lowered rates again. The Fed then rose rates to fight high inflation and caused a recession in 1969 to 1970. Rates were quickly lowered. The dollar got off the gold standard in 1971 and inflation quickly rose. Rates rose again to a peak of 13% in order to combat inflation. The Fed lowered rates back down to get out of the recession of 1973 to 1975. Once out, raised rates again to fight inflation. There was a short recession in 1980 where rates were lowered but raised again to a peak of 20% to fight inflation which caused the second recession that began in 1981 and the Fed dramatically lowered rates again. When the recession ended, rates were raised but started decreasing when inflation was in control. Rates rose again in 1987 to keep inflation low but lowered shortly after the stock market crash of 1987. Fed continued to lower rates in the early 1990s to fight high unemployment. In 1993, with the economy growing, the Fed was able to raise rates again during this long expansion. The dot-com crash of 2000-2001 caused the Fed to lower rates to help stimulate the economy. Low rates then spurred growth and rates were risen in 2004-2006 to in order to help control housing prices. The market and housing crash of 2008 caused the Fed to lower rates again down to a quarter of a percent for a long while. Finally, the Fed began to raise rates with growth of the economy but have now lowered again with fear of a slowing economy. If we overlay the 30-year fixed mortgage rates over the federal funds rate, we can see that the funds rate does have an effect over the mortgage rates. When the funds rate increases, usually the mortgage rate does as well, and vice versa. If we overlay the unemployment rate, we can see that when the unemployment rate increases, the Fed usually decreases the rate. When unemployment is decreasing, the Fed usually is raising rates shortly after. If we overlay the CPI or inflation rate, we can see when inflation rises, the funds rate also rises to try to reduce it. Make sure to click that like button if you found this video helpful, and remember to subscribe so you can get more videos like this in the future.